Once again it's Monday and the time for a new vlog. Uh, I didn't have time to record this one either on this Friday because I actually went to Comic Con in Stockholm. Uh, so it was a little bit short on time on Friday but uh, it's out Monday just like last week. Uh, and as usual in those vlogs I will talk a little bit about last week and the week to come. Uh, Last week was the start of the JavaScript uh, part uh, of the course with just a brief overview of, of what is JavaScript, how does that differ from Java. It was two pre-recorded lectures, quite lengthy. I think it's someone mentioned it's like almost six hours in total. Um, so it's a lot of content squeezed into to, to lectures. Uh, Please use double speed if you like on my lectures on YouTube, then you can squeeze it in on, on half that time. Um, and this week you should continue working on the first assignment if you haven't completed that one yet. Um, I can show um, how it looks on the course webpage. So it's this one. the. Um, uh, the HTML and CSS uh, that is due this week, the 21st of um, September. So I think that is Saturday or something like that. Um, or Friday. Uh, so please hand that in. You uh, need to hand it in using GitHub. You need to follow those instructions as I said last week. Uh, I've, gotten s I've got some questions uh, that has come to my attention at least uh, in regards does the overall layout need to be exactly like this one? Uh, no, it does not. Uh, it's okay if the menu is in the bottom. Uh, however, you're, you're, you're supposed to work with rearranging content using CSS. That is one of the goals. Uh, what I focus a lot on uh, is the being correcting marking up your content using uh, the correct semantics, uh, the, the, the correct elements, the correct HTML elements, not using HTML to style the page. To style the page you should always use CSS. The HTML is only there to control the content and we will look quite thorough through that when we examine this uh, assignment. Uh, got some questions about Open Graph. Just Google Open Graph and read up on what it's supposed to do. I mean, if you have shared any content on Facebook, Twitter, Slack, or any other like social social service, you've probably noticed that when you paste in a URL, you often get like a, a picture and some descriptive text. Uh, sometimes you don't and, and that is depends on if you're using open graph uh, elements or not. So if you are using open graph elements you can tell that service that okay use this picture uh, as a header picture and this content or description uh, together with the link. Uh, um, it is Google that uh, uh, sorry, it's Facebook that invented this one for Facebook, uh, but it's more or less an open standard now that everybody implements. Uh, I also got a question, should this be on a separate page, the, the posts? No, I mean this is kind of a blog uh, page that you are creating, so feel free to make like a post about each of these questions. I think that is kind of fair that you make it a blog post answering each and every question. You can have them all in one blog post if you like, you could have them on a separate page if you like, but make it easy for us to find them anyway. Uh, I think that's it. I, I think many of you are, 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 are getting finished with this assignment right now. Uh, if anyone hasn't uh, made the first commit or told me about the first commit, please do so I can uh, activate GitHub pages for you. Okay, and we also looked, as I said, on those two lectures, JavaScript 1 and JavaScript 2. 
there are not too many people attending the uh, uh, Vecra uh, tutoring sessions. They are of course optional uh, for you, but um, uh, we have uh, teacher assistants uh, in that room, 1173, so please feel free to, to visit those on, on Fridays if you need help with anything. Um, I'm also there on, on distance using Slack if, if you have questions. Uh, uh, yeah. This week I will not travel to Vecor, uh, and this week it's we, I will start talking about JavaScript in the context of the browser, basically. We have talked about JavaScript as a language, now we are uh, converting it to the browser. Um, I start out by talking a lot about the internal components of the browser, the rendering engines, the browser engines, the JavaScript engines, and so on. Um, this one, 2018, either the, the Swedish or the English version, whichever is fine. Uh, the only thing that actually has happened since last year is that uh, Microsoft announced that their Edge browser will switch from their own internal Trident and uh, Edge, I think it's called Edge JavaScript, don't remember, but they are switching from their own implementation of a JavaScript engine and a rendering engine and switching to the same uh, sta uh, same project that Chrome is using. So they're switching to Blink and the V8 engine for, for JavaScript, uh, following the same uh, same path as, as Oprah did. Um, this news has kind of divided the community a little bit. Some think it's really good that Microsoft is, is getting on the train with the same good browser engine as, as Chrome. However, on the other side, we are getting into a kind of uh, less competitive uh, business now when Microsoft is joining forces with Google that I mean we have Firefox uh, still uh, making their own uh, engines and then we have those giants in, 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 in uh, uh, Google and, and Microsoft on the other end that might just swallow Firefox. Um, that would probably be a shame because the web has, has gained so much about this competitive uh, business. Uh, on the other hand, it's really nice if everybody is using the exactly same standards, you will not have to worry about bugs in, in, in certain browsers and things like that. But we'll see what happens uh, now when Microsoft does this. Not sure if they have released the first version of Edge yet or are supposed to do that later on. But that is pretty much what is new uh, for this this lecture. The DOM, not much has happened since last year, uh, if anything. Uh, probably the support for certain operations or certain APIs has, has improved, but that is probably what has happened. So, so, so this one is accurate as well. So look at those on this week and please do start uh, working on the uh, exercises. As I said last week, please do the exercises before you start looking at the examination assignment one. Um, watch this one where I will get you started with the exercises. Um, and that's pretty much it. I, I'll talk, I'm talking about this on the lecture as well. So. Um, more than that, it's really nothing to report actually. Show up on Friday if you if you want help with anything or just send me a Slack message and I, I'll, I'll help you um, or write in the Slack group. Um, and that is pretty much it. So just keep working. Mm -hmm.